just noticed that one of my rice fish is carrying eggs. She's right at the back at the moment in the centre of that shot. See little bubbles hanging out of her. She's probably looking for somewhere to lay them in the males to fertilise. Which is quite a compliment to my fish keeping because that's pretty cool. Gold curry. These these guys just do not stop moving, so it's hard to get focus on them. That's my beater just there. He's looking pretty sorry for himself. He's lost loads of his fins because he was fighting with another fish, but I took that at the tank tonight, so we should have grow back. These guys here are absolutely incredible when they flare their fins up. And that is not flaring their fins up. They look like sails. There she is with her eggs. Yeah, they oh, might be doing it at the back. Part of the reason why there's bubbles everywhere, if you just saw that filter spitting them out, I've got just done a massive water change so there's oxygen saturation in the water at the moment which is not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing. Another gold quarry, I've got eight of those in there. There's a goby. That's the dominant male, there's four in there. I've got a cobalt blue as well but this guy seems to have almost stolen blue from the cobalt blue he was never blue but now when you catch him in certain light he's got blue on his tail and blue on his face but you'll only see the blue in certain angles I'm rather fond of Gobi, they're brilliant Scaleless loach, pretty much almost an eel. There's another gold quarry and an albino. I've got a little workforce of them everywhere, I just My little cleaning crew. Another one, another one on there. Oh, made him jump. I've also got a huge quartz quarry right at the back, but it's very shy. There he is. It's huge, he is compared to the rest. It's very shy. He's pretty content though. He's just shy of sudden movements. But I had an aggressive female beat earner basically and I didn't realise it for months actually. I noticed one of my Grammys has been bitten pretty hard. So it's been on my mind and then I did a water change and I literally caught the female and male beat almost trying to tear each other apart. So She's on the naughty stuff at the minute. The blue's coming up on her now, see that? On his face, on the goby. Look in, such a dude. Love these little guys as well, it's annoying, I can't catch them displaying to each other, but they do quite often. I think everyone's just in a state of rejoicing at the moment because the water's just been changed. So we're all loving the uh, clean air. There's, these are not bits of shit, this is all bubbles, there's just so much bubbles, you can see it spurting out there, bloody annoying. This guy at the front is a sparkling um, Garami, he's a really really tiny Asian fish, 
they're in the Grammy family, but they're actually pygmies. I've got about four or five of them. There's their older, uh, bigger cousins there. And then this guy here is also in the uh, labyrinth fish family. Him there, this guy, sorry bird, that guy down there, and the um, sparkling grammys would all go up to the surface and breathe air if they absolutely have to, or just do it sometimes anyway. Tree Grammy fashion, he's got a massive trail of shit hanging out of him. Yeah, there you go, you can see the blue on his face. Just sat up on a leaf. Mr. Grip. This is my uh, security doorman. Big bruiser of the tank. He's generally alright. He's got a little cave he lives in. No pineapple under the sea. Yes, baby there. More sparkling program, he says, two of them. That's the biggest male there. Happy tank. Just had a water change. Just gotta wait for probably overnight and the bubbles are settled. 